Hi guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. We're out on an absolutely stunning morning. I've been out tonight and dug bait. I've got ragworm and logworm, and we could even go do some pots as well. So stay tuned. We could catch anything today. I'm just going for a mixed bag and hopefully we get some for the dinner plate. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! I went digging this morning and got some lovely big fresh blow log. And then I've also got some king ragworm as well. Not much of it, but I'll be tipping off the hooks with it. So I've just got a flapper rig with two size 3 -o hooks and I'm after the gilt head, bass, bream, anything I can really catch. There's a lot of species you can catch around here so fingers crossed we get lucky. We are almost there with the tide. I reckon another 20 minutes we'll be floating. Hopefully there's some nice big silver gilties around. And we have set sail! Finally set sail. We're still in a couple of foot of water, so I'm just gonna scoot out of here. We're gonna creep up to our fishing spot, hopefully find some fish. We have anchored. This is an old mooring that's been here for years, this has. I've had some decent fish off here in the past, and recently I've had some gilt heads around here in the net, so I'm gonna chuck some baits out, and hopefully we can get lucky today. What a beautiful day. So there we go, guys. It's a little flapper rig, size three O hooks. I've got three big log worm on each hook. I'm going quite big baits today because uh, I don't want the smaller fish. I've got my little ugly stick, whippy as anything. Hopefully, if we catch an eight pounder on it. That'd be nice. Feels very breamy. I'm hoping it's a gilt head. Big black bream. Oh, he just dropped off the hook as well. There you go. Nice size black bream there. Some gorgeous wool. Don't want to get spined. Don't want to get spined. Some gorgeous colorations on that fish. Look at that. The blues. Must be in mating colors or something. But not the target species, so I'm going to put this one back. I don't need any pot bait, I've got absolutely loads of it, so a lot of fish today will get returned, except for if we catch any big guilties. <laughs> Feels like a black bream again. You never know around here, could throw up anything. Come on, what have we got? Nice black bream. Nice size to eat on that, so I'm gonna keep that one. Happy days. <laughs> that bream's actually a lot smaller than I thought it was. They always look bigger when they're in the water, so I'm gonna let that one go. Wait for a bigger fish, hopefully. Feels like there's a bit more weight to it. Hopefully it's a decent fish. What is it? Oh, it's a rocky. <laughs> Another species. Oh no, we've got a bass on the end. Double hook up. There we go. <laughs> Little basil and a rocky. You beauty. Definitely the smallest bass I've caught in a while. Look at that little beast. Perfection in miniature. got a good old rocky this rod's twitching away as well has a lot of fish here at the moment I have now just anchored up guys and we're gonna head back into this gully here this is a great place to try and find gilt heads and bass and stuff so Gonna anchor up here and see how we do. The other spot was absolutely dead, so fingers crossed we can get into some fish. Just waiting for the rope to tighten up. Fish are on again. I just stopped for a bite to eat. <laughs> what is it? The bass. A little schooly bass. Nice to see the fish in here. Nice little basil.
moved on to some lobsters now guys the fishing went dead and I go back to it after and try a different spot fingers yeah. crossed we can get some guilties it's a bit bumpy in here today that's for sure one spider crab in there Spiders are well and truly in now. Well, crap, not that. Nice lobster there with eggs. It's not a keeper, but it's always good to see the lobsters with eggs. Happy days. No keeper in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. Oh, there's definitely a keeper. Little lobster. Lovely big male lobster. That's a keeper. Oh, hey. Another little lobster. Come on, got one keeper so far on the first string, will there be more? And that one there, oh. just out by a couple of millimetres that one, another one's going to be close here as well. Just out again. <laughs> Plenty of lobsters, just not keepers. Big crab. Oh, a lovely crab. Nice brown crab, that. <laughs> Nearly had my finger. That is a lovely solid brown crab. Nice big male. That's going straight in the box. Not bad so far. One lobster, one brown crab. Got three strings of three to pull in here. And then the inshore pots. The, I, I've checked a few of them on the foraging ties because they were in the reefs. But there might be a few we can try. Happy days. Get these out onto the next string. Snotty weed is everywhere. Tell Summers, come on. Nice. Hopefully we can get some keepers on this one. Oh, nice lobster and a wrasse. <laughs> Another big lobster full of eggs. It's a nice one as well, that one. Nice, bright, rocky there. Love seeing the colours on these. Right, onto the next string. Hopefully we can get some keepers. Hooky. Nice keeper spider crab. That's more like it. That's more like the crab that I want to keep. That's a beauty that. That goes in the bucket.
nice big spider crabs. That's why I kept these old pots. Handy to catch some spiders with. Just a rocky in there. That's about it. Not much in the pots today. Let's go fishing. We're straight into fish. First cast. Don't know what it is, it feels a bit better than the last three, that's for sure. And we're in a completely different spot as well. Could be a rocky maybe. Come on, give us something cool. And it is a rocky. Really pretty one at that. Look at the colours on that one. There you go, very pretty little wrasse. I've been pulling the strings that I came and checked on the foraging tides. Pulled up one of the pots, it's got two lobsters in it. That one's a keeper. Is that one a keeper? That one's a keeper as well. Nice, two keepers in that pot. I, I wasn't actually gonna film, I, I was just gonna bait the pots and reset them. But hey, got some lobsters out of it. Baby lobster. All right, let's get these back out. Much bigger spiders than this one. Check those out. Nice big one there, it's only got one claw. I am quite picky with spider crabs because it's the start of the season, so we will get them moving in. Another nice crab. Nice. That's a, we got a few shellfish today. I think we got three lobsters. Nice. Good old dad, eh? Get my pots out for me. It took a beat in that one. Freshly cooked big spider crab baby after a successful little fishing trip. Damn that looks that looks good. That's my biggest one this year so far. This is not a monster, they get a lot bigger than this yet. But as they start coming in, I'll start munching on a few of these giants. Oh my favourite crab of all this is. Sweet taste of spider crab. Definitely my favourites. Leave it in the comments what you think guys. What's your favourite crab? A lot of people ask how I cook spider crab and all I do is get a big saucepan, 
put some water in that will cover the shell, get it to a rolling boil, put your crab in and cook it for 15 minutes or 10-15 minutes depending on the crab. If it's a big one I'd say 15 minutes for sure but this sort of size, the medium, 10 minutes is good. And that's it really, just take it out and enjoy. Oh yeah, I had to do this by the crab on honour and just eat it as it is. I'm not doing anything special today. No sandwiches, no rolls, <laughs> no sweet chilli sauce. I just want to eat a nice freshly cooked spider crab. It's the best way to enjoy it. Oh. And I want to save a bit of this crab for a nice sandwich before fishing later on. Look at that white meat. So I thought I'd enjoy a little bit now on camera. And then the rest, oh that's the one. The rest is for me later. You can't beat it. It's, the spider crab's got a unique sweetness to it. That's why I think it's so, so, so favoured to be fair. Mm. You can't beat that. Really hot. It's literally fresh out of the pan. But this is how, this is how I enjoy a lot of seafood to be fair. Just nice and plain and simple and just enjoy it. All right, if we can break this, there we go. Just wanna give you guys a show. Look how full that crab is. It's absolutely packed. You can always tell when you pick up a spider crab, if it's really heavy, you know it's gonna have big chunks of meat like this in it. Look at that. Mm. Enjoyable fishing trip though. I just went out for a nice chilled day. A whole day for that, that matter as well. With dog lug worm, I didn't get the gilt head I wanted, but they're very patchy at the moment. One minute they're here in numbers, next minute they're gone, or so or I can give it another couple of months. The gilt needs to be in properly. I'm gonna start doing a lot more of that early morning fishing on the boat and stuff. Oh. I'm going to start bringing the cooker out with me as well because uh, obviously summer's coming now. Winter it's an absolute nightmare to film catch and cooks at night time and stuff like that. So I, I avoided it this year. I just, with the winter I was like, I'm just going to cook at home. Summer comes, we'll start doing the outdoor cooks like everyone enjoys. Just so everyone knows. Oh, this is a good crab. My favourite part is actually the body meat inside. Look how much meat is in these claws. It's a really thick crab, this one. It's just oozing with meat. I've dropped half it in the bowl, but that's what it's all about, baby. With the uh, with the claw, you get bigger segments of meat. Mmm. I haven't actually done this in a while. Where I've actually just cooked a sea creature and just ate it on camera. I don't usually do that, so I always try and switch it up the best I can but obviously I'm still learning about cooking if you've got any recipe ideas leave them in the comments guys because I am looking for more different sort of seafood recipes I can try so yeah if you've got any ideas stick in the comments mm. so I won't leave the video any longer guys I'm gonna devour this crab after well, me and my son's gonna have a nice crab sandwich. First decent spider of the year. That's all good. We'll get the wheels out soon. We'll start going off the cliffs. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys. If you want any merch, the link's in the description. I'll see you on the next one. Smash fishing, baby. Woo! Um, fresh spider crab. Going for the big chunk.